People deluded, I'm back again. Now, I'm not gonna lie, people. Fabio Silva to Wolves took me by surprise, you know. He's barely made his inroads and established himself in the Porto team. So to see him go for around, I believe, 30 million euros to Wolves, it surprises me, but it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me when you consider, you know, the calibre of Portuguese players they've been getting in and the amount of them and, you know, the links with agents. They're always going to have the advantage in that. But it took me surprise in a sense of, with all due respect to Wolves, I know they can do it, but I didn't expect them to do it. I definitely didn't expect him to leave Porto so early. And I'm quite annoyed, people, about it off topic because now this has been the worst... The new football manager, what, Football FM 21 it would be, you know, it's going to be the worst one for me. I can't buy Jude Bellingham, I can't buy Danny Almo, I can't buy Kerhai, Kai Hervites initially, and I can't buy my man Fabio, Fabio Silva now. Like, what youngsters am I supposed to get, you know? It's, it's still a Jeremy Doku and Yari Vestishin, um, forgive me for mispronunciations thing, if, if worse comes to worse, assuming they both stay at their clubs, people. Um, even can't even buy Ferran Torres, he's gone to Man, um, man City, so, yeah. It took me by surprise, man, but I think it's money well spent. Like I said, he's still, as much as I think he's got potential and I think he can go on and be a very quality um, striker, you know, I, I don't know because I haven't seen him too tough playing in the senior game. I can tell you all about him at youth level, you know, cup, was it this season or season before? Absolutely terrorised Spurs, you know. He's, he's very productive at that at that at youth level Um in terms of that youth league, I'm talking about the fake little kiddies Champions League. He's very productive, you know. For me, he's quite tall, he's got height, he can score headers, he, he's, he's good technically, he makes decent runs, he knows how to mix up his play. He's got a lot of potential. In the grand scheme of things, 18, signing for 35 million euros or so, um, 35, 35 million pounds, 47 million euros, this, this says, or is that dollars? I don't know, let's just call it 35 million. You know, you'd imagine if he hits his potential even close to it, in this day and age, that's going to pay for itself. You know, he's only 18. With all due respect to Wolves, and, you know, they're clearly targeting becoming a consistent Champions League club. So I don't know, or European club, so I don't know what their landscape will be in the next few years or how they'll develop. But let's just say Wolves keep doing what they're doing now, you know, um, if he develops, you know, at 22 years of age, you know, he might be worth double that. And he might say, yo, I want to go to the Real Madrid or, you know, a higher ranking Premier League team. They've made their money, do you get it? For Porto as well, I'm sure many Porto supporters and many people of inside of Porto will say, we've sold him a bit too early, you know, we haven't really seen him do his best sort of things in his prime in a Porto shirt. And I get that. I would feel a bit shortchanged because it took me by surprise and I'm not even a, a Porto player or a Porto fan or anything like that. But at the same time, again, I don't know Porto's thing re um, re um, all the time, but I'm pretty sure... Within reason, you know, Porto recognised we have to sell players on and keep a business. So he's got all the potential. He could have been worth 100 million in this day and age, you know. Players, you know, players are going for a madness. But they're probably looking at it. He's got potential. If we can secure a sell-on fee and get a decent fee in a COVID market for someone who... we actually, He's got all the potential and I think he'll realise it. But right now he hasn't done anything. Cool. You know Porto probably got a next one on the production line as well. And for, for Wolves, it's a good signing. You know, I think he's their record signing now, replacing Jimenez. He, he's got potential and resale value. And, you know, they've got a big boy striker if he develops um, and with resale value. And it further strengthens their Portuguese ties. They've got him, they've got Neves, they've got Moutinho, they've got the manager, they've got Mendes working with the club. And there's several other other players that I probably have missed out, people. Um What's his name? Well, what's, what's his face, man? The fullback, Vinagre. I can't say his name. Portuguese people, forgive me, um, and things like that. But yeah, man. The 18-year-old becomes the latest Portuguese player set to join the ranks. Um, the deal to take him to England sees um, a new benchmark um, in terms of the club's most expensive buy. Um, as you lot know, he broke the record for the youngest player and goal scorer at Porto, um, which was once held by Ruben Neves. Um, he made his senior about 17 um, in October last year. Chief executive of Wolves said, We've been following F Fabio's development for a long time. He's a player that you only need to see several minutes to see his natural football and talent. In recent years, Fabio has been developing very fast and has now proven himself in the Porto first team, which is a top squad. And he has, but if you look at it, like I was talking about, at UEFA under-19s level, um, nine appearances, five goals, four assists. Since he's been exposed at first team level at Porto, naturally, like you would expect, an untested 18-year-old foolish potential, three goals, two assists in 21 appearances. So I don't expect him to play, be playing for Wolves' his under-23s. He might have to do that to keep fitness. I expect him to be blooded straight away. But he's someone that, you know, you're probably looking in the short 
to Morte Jimenez and these players to be relied upon. You know, if he can do this Asri Fati thing, this, you know, this this Mbappe thing once upon a time, this Saka and Greenwood thing and that they're ready right now and they're scoring mad goals, I think he's he's up there in terms of potential um, and he can hit the ground running in the league. But at the same time, I need to remember this is an 18-year-old kid who has only played 21 times for Porto's first team. So as much as I think he's going to be a hit, going to, you know, I'm I'm scared as 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 a as an Arsenal fan who doesn't like to play Wolves. I'm scared of what this guy's going to do in the medium to long term. I actually want him to hit the ground running straight away because he's a he's a player I love. A big part as why I love him is because he bullied Spurs in the youth league, like I mentioned earlier, and also because I normally sign this guy a Football Manager for a respectable fee, and he and he does his thing. So I can't do that now. So I'm a bit vexed at Wolves for that. Um, but it's interesting to hear um, Wolves have been watching him for a while, if legitly they have, you know, because. It's, it's all about timing. Sometimes a player's got potential, but you've got to wait. And if Wolves waited for the right time, whether it was, you know, we've scouted him and we're going to move for him anyways, maybe, you know, because of when you've got these young 18-year-olds with all the potential in the world, we all know the fees that come with these players. Maybe Porto weren't in a position because of COVID-19 and how that's impacted the market. Maybe Port, um, Wolves said, you know what, this guy might have cost 60, 70. He's costing 35 in this market. Let's take advantage bring Mendes to do handle the negotiations and we're there. So it's crazy, man. He said, the timing of this deal is similar to the timing of when we brought Ruben Nevers. We've waited for the right time to get a high quality player at the right price. Our recruitment team have been watching Fabio since he played for Portugal's under 16s and they feel he has always been the best nine coming through his age group anywhere in Europe. Fabio is a young player who shows not only incredible technical ability, but also his game intelligence for a player of his age is top class. I can't disagree with anything that's said, people. Like I said, he's intelligent, he makes good runs, he knows how to drop deep, he knows how to make a run off the shoulders, he knows how to make runs where he's not necessarily going to get the ball, but his teammate might be able to take advantage. He's an aerial threat, um, you know, he's a good finisher. He, there is a lot of potential, and for 35 million euros, you know, you'd imagine, even if he doesn't hit this potential, and he, you know, he, he doesn't become the player I personally think he could be, you can imagine they should be able to make £35 million pounds back. Um, so we have to see. He also said he has the ability to drop in, to link play and hold the ball up to bring others into play. He's very big for a, for a young man. And, you know, the 21 appearances, it might not be a lot, but that could help him a tiny bit going into... It's not just an unproven... Un under 18 year old or 18 year old going into first team he's still inexperienced he still needs help but playing against senior individuals could help him a tiny bit Martinelli I didn't know too much about Martinelli and he still is a novice but his little exposure in Brazil playing senior football how much did that help him when his chance came at Arsenal do you get it people um so yeah, he's been praised for his intelligence, his movement and you know his, his awareness inside the penalty box as well. Um, they've gone on to say they really haven't done anything to talk him down. Fabio has the potential to be a generational talent and for us to see him develop under Nuno is very exciting. He's the type of player our fans will love. Like, like all of our signings, this one is down to a lot of hard work from a lot of important people that support Nuno and, and to make these things happen and to help us keep things moving forward. Even after an unprecedented pandemic, which has deeply impacted all football clubs in the world, our ambition and determination to improve and involve the team continually never changes. The signing of Fabio demonstrates that, that we will make a considerable investment when we feel it is right for the club. And I, I, I'm getting gassed as an Arsenal fan. I want to see them statements. They come out of Arsenal, and you know, you look at you look at Wolves. They've got a few bankers, and I, I think they've missed out on the core. You heard the core to um, Wolves. Now it's the core to Everton. You know, missing out on that. They're gonna have a decent season. You can imagine they're gonna sign one two other ballers, and you know, even if you know, and they and what I like is these signings kind of pay for themselves because I don't know if Adama is gonna move on. He's sadly been um, axed from the Spain squad um, because of a coronavirus um, precaution. He could have made his debut if he hasn't already, you know. He's been linked with £70 million pound moves. So if they was to sell him, you know, this move indirectly kind of pays for itself. So I'm keen to see how he develops people. I want to see him move mad. Um, so we're going to have to see what he's on, people, really and truly. On that note, though, I haven't got nothing more to add. So I might as well get out of here. It's always a pleasure. DG, I'm out.